Thank you, Novato. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from Miss coming at you live from the West Coast. Yet again, San Jose, California. So we are just uh, auto tuning the bike after three sessions. I've been doing uh, a lot of riding. So after three sessions, the bike, <laughs> I can't believe how well the bike's handling. All right, it's handling, it's handling a lot better than before when I first uh, tuned the bike with uh, flow uh, fuel fuel motos tune so it has improved that 2000 uh, bogging down rpm that 2000 rpm bog, bogging down or that hesitation or that lag it's pretty much gone I mean it's still a little slow around the 2000 rpm mark but this is the 475 so you guys got to keep that in mind so anyways on to the topic of this video the uh the first impressions of the um of the intake the 64 screaming eagle intake now keep in mind i live in california all right i live in california if i could i would have um gone with probably a different option and I'm talking about, you know, maybe, um, maybe um, HPI, you know, a big massive intake. But because I live in California, 50 state legal, and because nobody else wants to ship me anything because I live in California or, or California, that's the reason why I went with the 64, All right? Uh, as far as cost, I'm not entirely sure. I, I I really didn't look at the other options. Um, the 64 comes with the with the throttle body, which is nice because the throttle body is actually larger than the OEM. So once I looked at them side by side, because I, I honestly thought it was it was just the intake, and I and I thought the throttle body was still like the same because they look identical identical completely identical uh, completely uh, completely identical until i held them side by side and that's when i noticed the actual throttle body is actually larger now i thought i had to purchase a new air breather because i thought the 55 would would have would the 55 um air breather from from, from what i had on my oem I, I i believe that wasn't gonna fit on the 64 turns out they fit they, they fit just fine it's just I think the throttle body or the blade is actually slightly larger but all the mounting locations they're they're the same size so you know that being said I'm just saying if you're getting one of the other options like moons or or HPI I'm not entirely sure if a regular air breather is gonna fit one of those throttle bodies I'm, I'm just saying but anyways first impressions into the intake I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth I really don't know if it's the tune or if it's actually the intake and the injectors I swapped the injectors for 5.5 also Screaming Eagle once again Screaming Eagle because it's a 50 state legal part that and because of the cost all right if you were to buy fueling injectors, you're paying $150 a piece. So $300 for both. Now, quite honestly, if you have a stage two, I really don't think you need larger injectors. That's just me. It's a stage two. I believe even with the OEM, it's enough to feed the beast with the stage two. Now the 5.5 is just, hey, I'm already gonna be there. Why not just upgrade the injector since I'm already there so like I mentioned it's very difficult for me to to uh, to give you guys a, a first impressions because my tune wasn't all, all that great now I did get my tune I did get my bike tuned by a professional supposedly a professional and I just it, it was just giving me way too many issues it was way too rich and it wasn't running all that great now that I have the intake, the 64, I'm pretty sure there is a performance increase 
but I mean I really I really can't say because I believe the tune has made huge improvements from fuel moto the bike is responsive you know it's responsive and that's only a little bit of the throttle you know it wants to take off even at uh, below the, the the sweet spot of of the 475 the sweet spot of the 475 is around 3500 rpm that's the sweet spot so for the bike to be responsive at the 2000 rpm mark you guys can see how much how much that front end pops up but like i said i really don't know if it's the tune or the intake it's you know it's it's almost impossible for me to say so um, as far as impressions i'm happy that i have it on there I know I'm feeding the beast more air and with the injectors I'm also feeding it more fuel and overall I'm, I'm liking it I'm, I'm just liking it because one it's not plastic like your OEM one is uh, your OEM is, is, is a plastic intake but you know however I did have the SNS I had the SNS 55 intake had that and um, you know switching over to the 64 I mean it's it is noticeable it is no it is noticeably more responsive but like I said it, it could be just the tune the tune is just that much better over my uh, over over my local tuners tune you know other than that I, I think the, the the actual manifold looks fantastic it's got like some fins in there that my SNS did not have I think there's still material, I've mentioned this in the, other, in the unboxing, there's still enough material there for you to remove in case you wanted to port it or, or whatever, you know, people do. Yeah, I think it's porting, right? There's, there's, there's plenty of material there for you to port it and increase uh, airflow and stuff like that. And the little fins on the inside, I believe that helps with directing the, uh, the air and all that stuff going into the heads and you guys, you guys know how... A, uh, a engine works all right there let's open her up man this thing is rowdy absolutely rowdy it's rowdy um, as far as knowing the numbers uh, I can only the, the only way to really find out the numbers is to dyno tune it unfortunately that's a $600 process that I really don't care for. All right, with my local tuner, the bike was pushing 114 horsepower at 127 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, I, I just don't really feel the need as of right now to dyno tune the bike. Just so I can find out the numbers, I, I honestly really don't care right now anymore. Uh, as far as the numbers, I, I really don't think it's, I, I don't know, I, I really don't think it's, it's something to, uh, you know, chase the numbers. Because you, uh, you, you can have a high lift camp, that's going to give you the best numbers out of all the camps. You know, a super high lift camp, we're talking about 500 plus. But you know and my my in my honest uh in my honest opinion i would rather have that bottom end torque that performance than having higher numbers i have a video that i'll, I'll probably release where I, I talk about the numbers just really don't matter if you're a cd rider or you're someone that rides in the low rpm then having high numbers means your 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 peak performance comes in at around 3,500 or uh, 4,000 RPM, and that's just not where most typical Harley riders ride at. We're usually on the low end, so I'm you know I'm just just I'm just saying as far as the numbers and paying the $600 and stuff like that, I, I really don't think it's worth it for me to pay to pay a local tuner $600 when I really like the way the bike handles I don't know maybe somewhere along maybe somewhere down the road maybe I'll, if I have time 
maybe I'll schedule a, a dyno tune so we can find the real numbers and we can compare them to uh, my my 55 SNS intake with the stage two. I I don't know. I just really don't think I I want to do it because 600 bucks is a lot of money. Like, you know, 600 dollars is a lot just so I could see the numbers. I I just don't think it's worth. It. But I'm pretty sure there is an improvement because you're adding because you're adding more air. But is it you know is it something massive like an additional 10 horsepower for the intake? I I really don't think so. It'll pro it's probably more like two two horsepower maybe three or something like that something low it's not you know it's not going to be a massive increase i believe the uh, the tune is going to have far greater impact on the way the bike handles so if you're out there and you have a stage two or you have a can tune as far as you know uh money to performance i think uh the the tuner if if he knows what he's doing of course obviously if he knows what he's doing then that's going to be a better uh, improvement over getting a 64 or, or a larger intake so as far as the stage two uh you know i'm happy with how it's handling with the intake in case you guys are just wondering am i happier with the intake absolutely yes but I think a large part, I hate to repeat myself over and over again, but you know, a, a large part of the way the bike's handling it is because of the t of the tune. I believe, I think the tune ha has uh, has improved the the bike, and it's no longer rich. I'm no longer smelling all the fumes of unburnt fuel. Um, so far, I think uh, I think the. Uh, the miles per gallon have, has also improved. If you guys have been watching the channel, my local tuner was giving me about 30, 23 miles per gallon. Like right around this point, at 60 mile trip, I'd be somewhere like uh, with the fuel light on. That's how bad it was. So if this is, you know, if this is, if, if this stays as, as it is, I have now increased uh, my, my miles per gallon. Because like I said, uh, before I'd be almost on E right now at 60 miles per at 60 miles trip So 23 miles per gallon is what my local professional tuner gave me so far I'm already at 60 miles on this trip, and I'm still half ways to go So if that's half plus another 60 miles, I'm already happy My my fuel range has 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 already almost doubled so like I mentioned, I think it's more on the uh, on the tune than anything else. So life's a risk. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. Get out there and ride. Later.